Now, very often, the responsibility for contraception falls to the woman, doesn't it? Especially in long-term relationships. But if you're tired of taking the pill and you don't want to have a contraceptive implant, you can't cope with the coil or diaphragm or even celibacy, then what do you do? Well, a lot of couples look at the possibility of male vasectomy, but how safe is it? Does the operation hurt? Will your sex life continue in the same way afterwards? And here to tell us some of the answers is Dr Mark Porter, along with Ian Phillips, who's had the op, and his wife, Karen. Hi. Well, Hello. Thank you for coming along. Whose idea was it in the first place? I suggested it. And why was that? Um, I've had three children, and um, they were getting bigger as I, as I had them. And uh, plus, three children's quite a lot, and then they've got the future to think of. So, Ian, what was your reaction to the idea? Uh, for about two years, I was always a bit sceptical, because the joke about the workmates and things like that, you know, and that type of thing. I was always a bit uh, sceptical about it, but I had two years to think about it and sort of get used to the idea. So when the time came to make the decision, I was fine about it. Mm -hmm. And what was it like when it actually happened? Well, the operation is no, there's no problem. Uh, if anybody's thinking about having the facectomy and they're thinking that the operation part is the worst part, that's nothing. The operation uh, can't be great, though, going in there. Uh, just beforehand. It's the build up beforehand, it's mm. like anything else, like the doctor's surgery, the dentist's surgery, um, but the operation took literally seven minutes from getting undressed to finishing. So and the question that Nick really wants the answer to is, does it hurt? Uh, it makes your eyelids flutter a little bit. <laughs> <but that's laughs> Are you conscious? Do you get into general anaesthetic or is it...? Uh, it's just a local anaesthetic. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. The, yeah, well, when you go into the, the Marie Stokes clinic though, they just chat to you and it's so informal, it really is like a dentist's surgery and you get, you know, just a few minutes, a cup of tea, and then you just and wh go What about afterwards? I mean, you must be sore for a while. Um, not immediately, no. Um, I wore a pair of trunks for about a week. Mm -hmm. uh, but straight away after the operation, I went uh, for lunch with Kerin and uh, was fine for about two days. And then once the anaesthetic took, started to wear off, yeah. it was just a little bit of discomfort. But uh, I was off work for a week anyway. I'd planned it that way. So I just put my feet up and watched the TV for about a week and then went back to work. So you're glad you did it? Oh, yes, no problem, yeah. Yeah, and uh, is it difficult to talk about it? Do you talk no, about it at work? No, not at all. I if people ask me and they're thinking of having it done, I, I recommend it. I talk. Did it change your attitude at all to Ian? Did you feel that no, he was no. less virile and masculine? None whatsoever. I was quite relieved. Yeah. I was quite relieved because then I could not have to worry about anything. It, it really was quite... Mark, just yeah. explain to us what it involves. Well, vasectomy, I mean, it's, it's a form of sterilisation, uh, obviously. Uh, it's one of the commonest forms of contraception used by, by people, over, uh, couples over the age of 35. And it actually involves cutting a tube called the vas. Now, I've got a picture here on the screen just to show people where the vas is. It's actually the tube that drains the testicle. Yeah, we're hoping that picture will come up in a second. Oh, there it is. There's, right, so the testicle is, is the red thing, and you've got fairly obvious what there is. Now, the green bit is the vas. Now, where, mm -hmm. the, where the snip is taken out of it, the little gap there, that is uh, the vas deferens. And, just remove a very small piece and just tie off the ends and literally what it does it stops the sperm which are being produced in the testicle down there traveling along that green tube so you stop producing sperm now the problem is with vasectomy is you do actually have a store of sperm in the prostate and seminal vesicles which is the orange gland at the top left there which can last up to two or three months so you're not immediately sterile yeah but what about the the sperm that is produced because it's presumably still being produced, even if it can't get out. This is one of the main... Well, there's, there's two things. First of all, people are worried about the fact that after they've had a vasectomy, they won't ejaculate, they won't mm. produce any sperm. And they won't produce sperm, but they'll still produce the fluid that the sperm comes in. And the, sp oh, I see. the sperm only actually makes up about 5% of that fluid, so you still ejaculate normally. That's not different, although some people notice a slight decrease. Mm. Um, the sperm are still produced in the testicles to start with, but obviously their exit is blocked, and eventually the testicle stops producing sperm. <clears throat> and as far as we know, that doesn't seem to be associated with any problem. Mm -hmm. And it, it can be reversed, can't it? I know yeah. doctors don't like saying it well, can be reversed. It depends. It I mean, there, there, it depends on how it's done, and, and, and there are two reasons for that. One is that there is a, a failure rate associated with, mm. with vasectomy. It's not 100%, and depending on how you do it, it's 1 in 1,000 or 1 in 10,000, depending on the different types of operation that you can use. Now, if you have the definitive operation, which is to remove a large segment of that vas, uh, the chances of reversing are nigh on zero. If you have the simple operation, they're about 50%. And it does depend, really, w you know, how long after the operation you change your mind. I mean, there's, I mean, there's been a legal case recently, hasn't there, mm. about uh, a husband thought his wife was having an affair because she became pregnant and That's he'd right. had a vasectomy. But That's it was right. proved that, in fact, it was his child. That's mm. right. I mean, that, that, that does happen. And, and doctors, we, we have a protocol that we follow and we advise people, and we have to say that the operation is technically irreversible, mm. but there is a failure. There is a failure rate. Uh, and 
that couple certainly should have been but warned. Very briefly, um, Caroline Barr from Sussex says, I've heard that some states in America have stopped doing vasectomies because of the increased re risk of prostate cancer. Is that true? There is, a, there is a small, some studies have shown a very small increase in prostate cancer uh, with people who've had vasectomy, but it's a very common cancer anyway, and we really won't know for sure for a it's few years yet. But I don't think there's much to worry about. Mm. Doctors aren't that concerned. OK, well, Ian and Karen, thank you very much indeed. And thank yeah. you, Mark, for the time being. And uh, remember, vasectomies are the subject of our phone-in today, so if you have a question that you'd like to put to Mark, then give him a ring now. 021 609 9000. Right, time now to look at... Uh,